Welcome to February 12th, 2009, fifth work day of the week, the day of Thor, or we call it a Thursday. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge and wisdom comes from above, day 43 of the year 2009. Well, brother, let's open up our Bibles now and so you can read along with me. I suggest you write the chapter and verse down with a pencil and paper so that you can read the whole context of what we're trying to study here. Well, we have some time to be able to do it. YouTube only allows so much time, and I'm thankful for that. That's not a criticism, that's how they run it, and it's being able to put it out free to you. Well, brethren, also, I'll go through the chapter and verses fairly fast. You can use the pause button down here so that you'll have a time to open up the chapter and verse and read along with me, and I do suggest that. Okay, let's go to Exodus chapter 33 and verse 18. I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Now to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse, verse 6. I hit a wrong button there for a minute. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 6. God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness... That means he commanded the knowledge to shine out of ignorance. Has shined in your hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Now let's go to John chapter 1 and verse 14 and 18. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, and the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. No man has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. Now let's turn back to Psalms, chapter 42 and verse 2, and we read, my soul is thirsting for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Don't we all want to know that? Now let's go to Psalm chapter 27 and verse 8. When thou saidest, Seek you my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, O Lord, I will seek. There's only one way to do that, and that's to follow the narrow path to the kingdom. Now let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. We all, with open face beholding as the glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as the Spirit of the Lord. Now let's turn over and read John chapter 17 and verse 24. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. As you know, brethren, that's Christ speaking. He wants us to follow him to the same place that he will be. Wisdom comes from above. A wise son makes a glad father. Foolish children dishonor parents. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 25. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her to her who bore him. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 11. There is a generation that curses its father and does not bless its mother. They bring sorrow. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 21. 
He who begets a scoffer does so to his sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 13. A foolish son is the ruin of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dripping. Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 26. He who mistreats his father and chases away his mother is a son who causes shames and brings reproach. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 7. Whoever keeps the law is a discerning son, but a companion of a gluttonous shames his father. We will finish with, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ, Blessed are the sons of God. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1 reads, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Brethren, Whose tradition are you following? You might say I'm saying the same thing every day. But are you following the Lord? Are you following the tradition of men? Ask yourself, are you following what that teacher down there on the corner is trying to tell you? Or are you checking into the word of God yourself? Every word, Christ says every word of God not just the ones that sound good to your heart, but every word of God. You have, haven't been trusting the word of God, but you want to. Get down on your knees and repent and ask the Father and the Son to forgive you for not looking to Him for the answers. And if you truly want to change in your heart, they will hear you. He will give you the wisdom and the knowledge of his word. Brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.